All right, video is rolling. So we're doing a little bit of a different video today. Normally I do my little uh, video game playthroughs, uh, whether it's like Castlevania or whatever the fuck, some fighting games, but this time we're going to play the ultimate fighting game. Some say the best fighting game of all time, uh, Smash Bros. Which, what's the name of this title, Tackley? Smash Bros, Super Smash Bros Ultimate? Yes. That's a good start, good start. Good, 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 time, good content. So, <laughs> so this second voice know, is man. actually you my a, first. You did pretty well on your own. This is my first guess for scrub. This is the scrub sessions. I call you know what the, you know what a scrub is, Ashley. Oh yeah, I'm talking to one right now. Yeah, damn it! You fucking got me first, <laughs> little fuck. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> so this is my little brother, Ashley. I guess oh, you know. Whoa. You know he's. Uh, well, scratch that. I'll make sure I cut that out of the video. His name is just Meteorum. That's his. Ashley's a slave. Hey, right. <laughs> um, so we're actually going to do a different format here, Ashley. I know I'm going to jump this on you right now, but I think it's worth doing. We're actually to make this interesting, other than just because let's just make it very clear right now. You're way better than me, and you're probably going to whoop my ass plenty. But I'm here for it. I'm definitely here for it. But I think I want to make it an interesting little challenge here and add a little extra dynamic to this, so that we're not just like you know running through games until I get too stoned to talk anymore. Um, we'll do, we're going to do it a, a set of 10, 10 games, 10 matches. All right. It's going to be, you have to use three different characters, three different times, three times, three characters, three times. And All right. one random match where we literally both of us just pick, have to pick random. Oh boy. Now. I'm going to say the over-under, I'm going to say the amount of matches I can beat you on, I'm going to say the over-under is two. Do you got the over on that? You think I can win more than two matches, or you think I can win? I think I've got less. I feel like I'm... I, feel I like think you can win a couple more than that. You but, haven't played yeah. in a while. You haven't played in a while, I'm going to be fair about that. But I also haven't played that that much. I, I like, fucked around, like, a little bit, like, randomly on the week. But you actually were really, really fun. good. What was your highest uh, competitive rating? Like, what was the... Like, the highest rating you ever got competitively uh, doing this shit. Like, what do you mean? In Smash. Like, GSP? Like, an elite? Yeah, like, what was your ranking? Like, what did you compete in? Did you, didn't you do any, like, competitive stuff with this one? Or am I just fucking making all this up? Well, I go on quick play so I can give myself a migraine. Because quick play is just, it's kind of fun, but also not. But my highest GPS right now, I think, is 12,500,000. I don't remember though. That's you what get, Bowser. You you ended up getting an award though, right? That you brought you brought up to me once, and you were like, your dad was like, like super like whatever about it. He was like, that's what you should be. Oh yeah. But what was it? What was that ranking? I got second place in a tournament that he's talking about for not, Dark Matter. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about my. I'm talking. We'll, we're gonna get to that in a little bit. But I remember one time you sent me a video or a picture or whatever. You're like, look, man, I got into a certain tier. Of players at Smash, you were like super proud of yourself. What was that? Do you remember that? Or am I just making this up? I have no idea oh what you're God. talking about. There's so many things. All right, I don't know, man. There's first... so much going on. This is your first character? Yes. Okay. So as... I go on my three best just, characters. Uh, without getting too much into the details, because it's a little bit unsettling. Uh, Ashley, he loves kaiju's. I love kaiju's too. Actually, I'm not gonna. I just I like make fun of him, but I'm really making fun of myself. I love kaijus, and so does Ashley. So we love Godzilla and all that shit. So Ashley's really big, big fan Japanese of like monsters. big monsters. He likes all the big guys. He likes big dragons, and he plays a lot of uh, Monster Hunter Rise and shit. Yeah, that's what I've been playing most of the time. That's why I haven't gotten to Smash in a while. Oof, so yeah, I'm playing man. Monster Hunter Rise. You know what? At some point, you need to move on a little bit, right? At some point. I guess, yeah. Oh, God, I wish I could have warmed up a tiny bit. Ugh. Oh. 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 I didn't want to do that. Sure. Oh. oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Yeah. I can't believe that worked. Here, just, just oh. Let me out. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, come on. I was doing my move. <laughs> That's such bullshit. Oh. Oh no, I fucking oh, fucked fuck up. That's, 
It's no. all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It was a warm up. This is a warm up. It's what's well, actually part of the ten. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I'm not gonna win this one. It's been a while. It's been a while. All right, I'm trying to put it together here. Oh god, I hate that stupid ass move. <laughs> oh my god. Get ready for a lot of Eric uh, raging in this video. No, I'm not gonna rage. Already. I've already kind of mentally accepted that. At the time, <gasps> I was trying to beat you legit. It's not that I'm not trying to beat you right now. What I'm saying is that I've mentally accepted that I'm never going to be better at you than this game. That's fine. I mean, that's not true. You can play it more often. No, I, I, just... I just didn't want to. Okay, just to put it in perspective, you played like an ungodly sum of hours over me in this game. I forgot how many hours, but uh, my friends like to make fun of me for it. I think I have 100-something hours or something like that. 100,000-something hours or something like that. I remember. I might be over-exaggerating, but I know it's somewhere in the thousands I, place. I don't I think. think it's that much of exaggeration, dude. I think you really did play that much. <laughs> I don't know, oh, man. I didn't God, really I have really games before that. then. That's such bullshit. I didn't really have games before then, and I actually wanted to win a fight against my dad, who Oof. was really good at Smash. And so, you know, I just played that a lot, oh, and I'm not sure I could get better God than dad. Alright, that's, right, that's game one. Am I going to keep right. track of this shit? Hold on, let me, let me get a pen and paper out real quick. Ah, my neck. Oh, oh my goodness. Guys. I am pumping all my joints right now. Don't be gross on my show. That's not gross. Know, it's a thing like to do. I'm popping things on the microphone or something. It's kind of weird now. It's <laughs> like, right. ew. The All right, that's one for Ash. All right, that's, that's a warm up. That's a warm up. Warm it up. Warm it up. Warm it up. I'm feeling myself a little bit here. All right, you ready to rock? Can we do yes. one with platforms too, or is it just going to be that same stage? I don't know why I'm asking because I think I made the rules. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know why you're asking too. You made the rules. If, if keeps, you want to change if the keeps stage, that you one, can. You got to change the map because I don't want to do just like an open field with no platforms or anything. I, I kind of like that. Yeah, I can put. Wait, you like no platforms? No, I just... kind of want platforms sometimes. I think it helps. Uh, well, actually, here, you know, go. ironically, I think with this character, it's bad. Or this character, it's much better with the with the, with the the platforms. Your King K role could be the worst. Is that your best character, you would say? Uh, it's tied with it's Bowser, fucking, to be no, honest. It is definitely King K role. I don't even know why I asked that question. Look, you've got some really nasty other characters. Like this one I mean, my Ridley DSP, Ron Elite Smash, yes, I'm in Elite because I'm a tryhard. It know. is with Bowser. Hey, that was King K. Rowe, with Bowser. You know Bowser. I just realized, you son of a bitch? I just realized I did send you a video because I told you the Ridley video of when I beat Ridley on... Oh, that was in, on your uh... channel. I didn't know that was on your channel. I thought that was just like something oh. you could record it on your phone. No, how is the video so good? It was on YouTube. What are you talking about? Oh, I didn't really... I, I've watched the video a little bit, but I got trying to think of a name for you as a joke, and I just stuck with uh, Stoner Giant uh, 94. Good stuff, good stuff. Real good creative there. I mean, you are a giant compared to me, <sighs> and you are a stoner, so. <laughs> <sighs> Makes sense. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I thought I lived right, there. I, I, thought I, I thought I legit lived there for a second. I was like, I think I'm okay. <laughs> If you just teched at the right time, which is really hard, I can't do that very well myself. You probably would have been able to survive that. But you would have been able, like, I have to be a major tryhard to actually win that. Because people that are able to do that are disgusting. Jesus Christ. Uh, <gasps> oh my god, there's somebody there's legit Owie. having a party upstairs. Who's having a party yeah, they're, they're, they're getting freaky up there. I don't know what they're doing. Ugh. This is that part of the game that I'm just like, I don't fall in love with at all. How are you not dead? I was about to say. I, mean, <laughs> I swear to God, if you're not fucking I'm... dead, I'm going to be so pissed off. Oh my God. I know, but you're saying that, but you need to remember that Ridley's not a super heavyweight, but he's like one of the heaviest no, he's characters definitely that a is fucking in that classification. Character. But still, it's just like, it's. I always hate how much work it takes to get these fucking big bastards off this fucking thing. Meanwhile, you fuck oh, up you just like a handful of times, even... you're fucking dead. Like, they can knock you off with a fucking regular <clears throat> punch. Like, what? You rolled into that. That was your fault. What? Thing, to be honest. Like, what the fuck was that, man? I mean, I charged sense. it up. Like, I was at, what percentage was I even at at that point? Like, ah. 
it's well, too crash. Well, you were like 70 or 80%, I don't know. I you, wasn't that high. You were just coming. I was not that high. You were pretty... I'll look at the Either fucking way, video Either way, you need to that remember that... You just did Bradley's some super That's match, exactly what I was talking strong. about, though, with that heavyweight shit, where it's like... Ugh. Well, like I, like I was going to say, it's fire damage, and fire does a heavy amount of damage to you is, on its own. What is this fucking Pair that with a charge that forward what smash, and that's, that's a... That's a brutal combo. I'm talking about the game. You know the thing you wanted us to do? You know, you're complaining. And no. like, I'm explaining the logistics of it. Come on, man. Um, oh. Who's that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. It's fine. This is what I signed up for. That's what I said. I'm trying to get at least one win out of ten. Granted, it's probably my <laughs> best chance, Whoa. but I hate Ridley, though, too. I hate all your characters. My the friend worst. hates Ridley And by too. the way, King My K. Roll is way top tier. Like, ridiculously top tier. Like, OP as fuck. Ridley. Or King K. Roll. See, that's where, that's where we're Dude, gonna disagree I'm telling you, here. every single time a random person comes to our house and has never played Smash before in their life, or like, has not played a recent Smash game ever. That's because you have to know how to play King K. Roll. You say he's top tier, no, but like, I'm when telling you, look you at every single tier... time someone plays them, they actually win, or they do really, really, really well. Like, the best game they have the whole time is with King K. Roll. Like, he's top tier, dude. He's definitely top he's tier. He's top tier. I don't give a fuck The only reason say. you see people play that character a lot and win a lot is because he's fun. That's just the thing with King K. Roll. He looks... He looks like a top tier character, but when you look at all the tier lists, he's never top tier. He's not even That's top A or like top though, B. Man. He's like like B what tier. about everybody else is so much better? Like, there's no way Terry's in the same. Everyone's as... faster. They have better combos. Yeah, they can but who cares? juggle like, people there's more. There's so much bullshit. King with that K. Character. Roll is incredibly slow. Yeah, and because of how slow he is so and how BS. heavy he is, he can just get juggled in combos with like Sheik, which is just a nightmare. Ugh, it's God, just like, oh, next right culture. Like, I read yeah, these too. Well, you always pick big guys that fly, too. Like, all your big people can just fly. Like, you, you're just... You're I like... pick all the characters that I like the look of the most, which is happens to be all giant monsters, with the exception of Ganon and Yoshi. And all right, we gotta switch characters, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. But, yeah. The only reason why you see good really somewhere. good players on the line play King K. King K. Roll, I couldn't speak there, is because he's fun. That's the only reason. Like he's good if you know how to use him, and they know how to use him, and he's fun. Everyone likes playing King K. Roll, unless you don't. Then you're a tryhard, or you just don't prefer him. Oh, really? You're gonna leave, <clears throat> you're gonna leave King K. Roll for last? I mean, you said him my best, so I'd want you to leave the audience with that. But yeah, I've always, I've never known who I'm truly best with. I play Team K. Roll more, just because he has better options when it comes to matches online. Because, unlike other characters online, King K. Roll on the heavyweights actually has projectiles, and if there's ever a spammer out there, I can kind of just spam him back out. With Bowser, you can't really do that. He's good with speed and weight and just like, overall everything else. It's just projectiles. Because, like, his fire doesn't go very far. It, it's like that. Which isn't very far. But then we got King K. Roll with his, like, projectiles, and those are pretty good. Oh. Yeah, I completely forgot how much faster Bowser is in oh this my game. Because in the other games, the he was so slow. This. This fucking open shit is so annoying because you just literally can just stand over me and smash me. Ugh. Can we get place a please with some platforms? God, I hate this open shit. Yeah, I completely forgot to do that last <laughs> round. It's killing me because you're just like literally standing over me like a big fuck, and like everything I hit, nothing has priority over Ooh. you, and you keep slamming down like a crazy. Like all you're doing is just standing up there and just smashing me. It's just like no priority on anything I do. Jesus Boy, Christ, didn't mean to die. do that. Die, you idiot. Die, fuck. God damn, please <laughs> die. It's just like begging. Every player it's like 150. Oh my god. Oh, please oh, wait. die, you son of a bitch. <laughs> please die. Oh my god, just die. 
Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, just so much yeah. work. That's so another much reason work why people like to like, just do that one fucking kill. He can survive a really long time. That's why. It's fun. I don't know why I started using that. Use what? <laughs> Owie. <laughs> So, when we were first doing Dark Bat, or we first, you know, the COVID happened, we all got switches. Yeah. Can we please stop with this fucking non-platform shit? It's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's just like, oh, all, it, all it is is just you standing over me, just dropping down on me the whole time, like one of those, and I just have to keep trying to catch you. It's so annoying. How do we switch that out? Uh, I hear, That's hang cool on. For you. I have, I, I just have the preferred stage on Omega. This is what I do because I'm having fun like that. I also just like for stages. Can't I change? Where can I change the stage? Go to your character select. There's this little question mark or whatever it is. And it just shows oh, the stage. Change changes. preferred stage. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Yes, please, Jesus. <laughs> Killing me, man. I just need a little bit of like some cover. Cause just all yeah, you do is I just get up there, and then I just have to like either jump up there with you, or just wait till you come down. And it's just that's all you're doing the whole time is just jumping up there. It's like just give me at least one piece of like headway in the middle. Oh, one fucking platform. Gee, thanks. Oh no, they're on the side. <laughs> that's what I say. Uh, that's funny. Jesus Christ. It's like, oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it has a platform, right? So and, anyway, like, I'm sorry. I was like getting off track a little bit there. I'm just getting off. Trying to beat you at least yeah, one time. Yeah, this happens a lot when you come One time, there. people. One time. If I can get one win off this, I'm good. Oh. Ah, it's not looking good, though. Ah. Not good. What? Oh. And they disappear? Come on, man. No, that'll, that'll be different ones. Just worse. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, it's like... I didn't even have him for that lock, and it wasn't even the one I wanted. Oh my god. Well, come on, man. Like, where's the platforms on this fucker? God, this is so lame. So, um... Dang it. When we were doing... We were doing, uh... We were doing, uh... We, so we COVID happened. We all got switches. We all started trying to, like, play. We were doing, like, uh... You know, Smash tournaments and Mario Kart tournaments. I was doing some of the Mario Kart stuff, and I was also doing Smash. I like fighting games, you know, real ones, not fake ones like this. Um, but, you know, people like Smash a lot, and it was definitely more of an easier one for people to pick up and want to play, like, uh, oh, you'll be surprised and everything, and people the amount of people to say so this isn't the easiest one to pick it. up. I was definitely enjoying, the, a lot, enjoying it a lot, and... You know, I wanted to get more people involved. We wanted to do like a basically a dark matter coffee tournament, like with the TV and everything, where we'd all play and we'd all enjoy everything, and what? it was fun. So, um, you know, we were trying to get it together. We were gonna do. We did competitive play for Smash and then for Mario Kart, and I I entered in both tournaments. I actually, placed in all of them. I know it doesn't look like that way now. <coughs> yeah. Um, I got to pick one where the fucking platforms are actually where they need to be. Yeah, you'd be surprised on the amount of people that say this is the easiest game. Like, I have a friend that plays with me who plays a lot of fighting games too, like Dragon Ball Fighters and stuff like this that. It's different, but it's he not. Beats my ass in that game. But when he goes and Smash, he's like, "This game is so hard." Like, really? This is like who, supposed me? to be the, like one of the easiest. No, not you. A friend of mine. It's yeah, just like, a it's a, uh, it's just kind of different. It's not really like a fighting game in any traditional sense. If anything, it's more like a platformer. Like here's the thing with any anybody who loves fighting games, it will it will never not annoy you to no end when you have somebody at 150 percent and you just can't knock them off like like the way it is with that. Like that never happens in a fighting game. Doesn't matter how big you are, doesn't matter any of that. Like when I drain your fucking life and it goes to zero, that is it. You know what I mean? And it's just a weird thing. To, yeah. Like, it's a weird dynamic where you're not just actually trying to hurt them. You're actually just trying to, like, out-platform them in a lot of ways. I'm not saying it's not a fighting game. It definitely is a fighting game. I mean, there's too many, like, different elements in it that make it a fight. I was watching a uh, YouTube video about it, and 
or the uh, Triple KO podcast about about fighting games. It, it does a lot, mainly just like traditional fighting games, but they do talk a little bit about Smash because it's so important to. I said it. It's an important aspect. It's very different. It doesn't fucking have the same. Um, you know, it doesn't have the same stage as like uh, Street Fighter. It's, I don't even think there are even any of the actual tournaments. Like, there's never been. Like, uh, they're very rare they're even in the same, like, tournaments anymore. Like, they don't go at Evo, even though, like, the Smash Evo would be something people would really want to see. Um, but they just don't, you know, they don't, they don't, oh they don't travel in the same circles, what I'm trying to say. Um, <coughs> but it is very different. Yeah. And the, they said the way you operate and the way that it feels, like, it's simplistic, but then so complex, too, oh like, with the combos and everything, and... Yeah, man, you're also just trying to stay on the fucking stage and not get battered. Yeah. Like, like, the randomness, I think, sometimes can draw people back. And again, like, it's also fair to mention, what we're playing is just a modified version of Smash. It's not Smash, right, in the traditional sense of what Smash is. Smash is all the different items, the different maps. Usually, it's usually more than one person involves. God, you know what I mean? Like, that the is game the game. Instead of just talking only. You are mashing so many projectiles. Like, I'm Bowser. I can't do much against that. And we're on a well, platform. You know what also is because I got the platforms too. God damn it. You're not just fl standing over me, just smashing me like that stupid ass little brick in, in Mario. When I actually have something <laughs> to cover me instead of just watching your big fat ass just smash me the whole time. Like, then I have a little yeah, bit more of a chance. Fight. Not a good it's one, but muscle. at least a little bit of a chance. I still haven't even gotten close to winning, by the way. Like, we're already in game four, and I'm, like, not even close. Ah, uh, damn it. This might be, this is, like, the closest I've gotten, and I don't want to, like, jinx it at all. Woo! Oh, man. I can get one. See, like, this is, I would say, what do you think is more common in, in competitive play, usually? It's the other one? Is it the one with no platforms what? at all? Or is it the, more like no this? Platforms. When you've seen competitive play, like people videos, that play no platforms... Like, well, because if you're using platforms, there's just so much of an easier chance to be able to, like, camp someone. But then, again, they also just allow, like, normal, like, stages. Not, like, the crazy, like, big one, but, like, they usually allow, like, Really? Ones. So they're a little more liberal than but I think they, like, with the stages. I always felt like they were a little bit more, like, like, super... Because there's, like, rules and shit. Um... <sighs> God damn it. You and your fucking uh, projectiles. Mm. No, I died. That's it. See, like, see, like, okay. I just want you to think about that logic and that reality right there of what happened. Good game, by the way. That was a good one. So I'm doing well, right? I'm winning. I'm winning. I have done way more damage than you, and I'm at 66 damage. But because you knocked me in a way that I couldn't get back to the platform, I lose. And I just think a lot of fight game fans, people that play traditional fighting games, there's just something about that that is endlessly bothering. Well, you don't really got to deal with that in any fighting game. It's yeah. just this one. That's not a thing. You know what I mean? That's not even close to a thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I should still be... Yeah. We got one more game, actually, with these characters. Um, so it's just like a very weird dynamic that you have to kind of come to grips with. And I just think when it comes to competitive play with that, like, I just couldn't get past that sometimes. Because, yeah, I, I'm not good at getting back on the platform all the time. Like, oh, God, I'm, I'm good at fighting. Again. I'm good at playing the actual the game. Some, not, I'm not good, but you know what I mean. I'm serviceable. I'm not a, sh You're all right, I'm not a total sh you know, schlub. I can, I, can, you know, I can get you in a few counter strikes and you're not expecting it and stuff. Like, I can trap you. I can do setups a little bit. You know what I mean? But, like, I'm terrible when it comes to, like, staying on the platforms and shit or, like, dealing with edge guarding. Like, you can easily pressure me. And that's, like, half the game in fucking Smash. Like, right there, like, I don't even have a chance. Like, and it has nothing to do with, like, whether or not I'm good at actually fighting you. It just has to do with, like, being able to stay on it. Which is one of the reasons why I'm, like, I don't mind the platform thing. Because to me, it's, like, it's a platformer. Like, you're just not going to have a well, lot in your platformer game. It's a competitive platformer. I think, I, know, I think another thing you need to realize, too, is that some characters are just way better at edging others on platforms and others can't. Yeah, no, no, it's... And it's I'm not even saying... I'm not even saying... Uh, like, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you. No, go go into it. Sorry, I'm still stoned. I don't know. 
What were you going to say, though, about edge guarding? Like, some characters are good at it and some are not? Some characters are just really good at using platforms to their advantage. In this situation, it's both of us, because I can go underneath, like, a stage if you're trying to land, and then I can kind of just do an attack there. Or you can run away, and then you can, like, use projectiles. And I deal with that a lot in quick play. It's just like, ah! It's one of the few reasons why I don't like going quick play very often. Because there's people like that that like to use projectiles constantly and don't actually want to fight back. Well, and so you I'm know, dealing when, when with you're them. as big as you are, it's probably the right move to go. Even though I'm, this is my worst game. For, it's going to be another bad game. Oh, God, I don't think I'm going to get one. I thought I was going to be able to get at least one. I don't think it's going to happen on this one. Um... But, but I, I want to point out, too, like, I'm not even saying, like, um, I'm not even trying to say that, like, edge guarding isn't a technical thing. It's a technical as fuck what? thing. Like, the art of edge guarding or, like, avoiding the, the traps of edge guarding. Like, it's all, like, really technical stuff. It's why it's still a technically a fighting game in my eyes. You know what I mean? Like, oh, see, like, you fucking, oh. see, you knocked me off. I don't understand how you could, couldn't grab that. That's a little annoying there. It's okay. All right, that's six. We have four more. It could be worse though. With when it comes to your like when it comes to your like uh, recovery, it's bad, yes. But at least you know what to expect from it. With Bowser, it's kind of a it's kind of just a, a wacky move there. I don't know. We're changing now. characters, right? Yeah, we have to. That's three. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but if you somehow do something wrong recovering with Bowser, he either goes the normal distance he does. Or he doesn't go very far at all. Like, he goes, like, maybe half of his height up. And then that's yeah. it. Or he just, but, like, he drills into the stage. And that just doesn't allow him to go back up. But, which is but, weird. But it happens. Let, it's let, like, me, ah! let me just complete that thought. Same with Even though it's very technical and super scientific in its own way, edge guarding and edging and the, and the science of all of it, it's still no less infuriating to somebody who loves playing like a Street Fighter or, or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. There's certain things that like I'm okay with living with competitively, but like just not being able to get back on a platform and get just getting bullied off of it. Like, I would not want to try to be competitive against that. I'll play a little bit online, but I would rather just do a fighting game. Like playing Rumblefish or something and just trying to like mess around with that. It, you know, like. I don't know. I'll, I'll take my chances with that reality, even though again, I'm not good at those games either. You know what I mean? Like I'm, you know, not very good at all with any of those. But you know, serviceable enough to have some fun with some people around my skill level and enjoy myself. Um, I don't know why I keep going for that move. It's a bad idea. Oh. Eventually, yeah. Uh, I also forgot that I have a counter. Oh, crap. Oh. Like, he's got the counter. He's got a lot of stupid-ass things. And he's just got yeah, really big-ass moves. that's all balanced out, though, with bully. his weight and his speed. He's a bully, yes. Both literally and physiologically, he is a bully. Okay, well, I don't know the physiology part. But, like, his character in general has always been a bully. Both in the game and in the actual wars. But, uh, yeah, he may always seem, like, broken to everyone else, which, to be fair, usually he is. But the people that are playing him usually, usually are know how to play the character really well, because he's just, he's an easy character to learn. Yeah. Like, he's, just, he's been known as, like, one of the easiest to yeah, ever learn. I'm telling you, dude. Like, because people, he's simple. People pick this character up, and I'm telling you, dude, they already start knocking people out immediately. It's like they already start figuring it out a little bit. Like, oh, wow, this is really cool. They're not doing, like, what you're well, doing. They're not doing what you're well, doing with the, pro with the projectiles, like, where you suck it back in and then, like, hit it in an arc. Like, you've just got a lot of setups that are just really a pain in the ass to deal with. Oh, I don't forget you. You just got a lot of setups that are just really, uh, you know, just incredibly bad. Yeah, he has uh, really I'm good not one. Yeah, I'm not going to get a single win. It's not happening. Maybe the random one is the only Aww. chance I have. Yeah, that is where he is right about that one, because I 
mainly focus on one kind of character, and that's really it. Because every other character, I've tried to learn on my own, but I, I just couldn't. Every other character was way too fast for me. There's way too many combos to learn. I'm a super person. Yeah, I'm a scrub like a lot of heavy game. moves, a lot of heavy shots, you know, heavy punches. Deep down, I may be winning these matches, but like I'm a scrub. I pick all the heavyweights because they're fun and they're simple. I can't handle people like Sheik or Jigglypuff or like anything like that. I can't handle that. That is way too complicated for me. Because I don't know how to do all that juggling stuff. Okay, well, I actually can do is combo. Oh, Jesus! I didn't have another jump. So, yeah, it's like, like it's one of those things. He's got that reflection. He's got the flight. He can fly. Like, he's really good at flying. Like, he's got that. He's kind of fast, too. His projectile's got mad priority. Then you have the reflection thing. He has that shit, which you. Not only does his projectile have a lot of priority, but then you also can suck it back into you. Therefore, like, shoot it back, and then you shoot it at an angle like your fucking Goken from Street Fighter. Um, oh my god, dude. I got nothing. I'm just fucking wasting time at this point. I'm not gonna beat you. But, um... But then you also... So not only can you fly, not only can you reflect in the... It, you can reflect in midair, too. You don't need to be, like, standing still or on, on footing. You actually can reflect in the sky. You do that right there, yeah. You can grab the ledge, which is a pain in the ass, but when you grab the ledge, you actually hit people so they can't stand over you at all or do anything. Like, you actually have to get away from the ledge because, like, I almost want to try to, like, show it as an example. Like, like try to grab the ledge. Hold on. Do that real quick. Yeah, I'm also trying oh, to... Oh, my God. I... Sorry, sorry, I wasn't trying to take a bad. I really, really wasn't trying to. No, I was, I'm it's trying to good, do though. something else to show him that he's also a little broken in this sense. Like, here... Oh, it hit me when I tell you to hit me, all right? All right, three, two, one. I, it's not yet. Sorry, <laughs> not yet. Sorry I need to do this. I'm just trying to, like, hit my belly. Oh, see? What is that? I have armor on that. Is that reflection? That's armor. That's bullshit, No, it's too. armor. Is that just a taunt? Yeah. What that's, the hell is that? That's another thing that people hate about K. Roll. Not only does he have all this stuff, but his belly is, like, the only place he has armor. And that's a lot of his moves, like that. Or, like, his down smash. And, you know, things like that. And just, Ugh. that you can really use that. And people just hate that. Because, Dude, it's you know, brutal, man. That has a that's, it's a really durable armor. Oh, my God, it's, it's not for, <laughs> It's not forever, though. You can't break it after a while, but it's kind of hard to do. It's unless you're constantly savage. getting your stomach hit. But, like, even Jay Diaz, who, who, would, who kind of started the tournament thing with the Dark Matter, like, even he was, like did a pretty nasty K roll. It wasn't like yours, but it was still like really hard to beat. Like everybody had some issues with it. And he was like I'm just like, dude, this character is so broken. Like it is easily my least favorite. Mm. Oh my god. I'm just fucking Oh yeah. On top of that he also has two spikes. Oh my god. Oh no. Um, yeah, yeah, the spike for his back air is and his down air. Yeah, he's got really crazy spikes too. Again with that edge guarding. All right, we got one, yeah. more, game, one more game of this, and then we got to do one random one, and that's it. Um, so, yeah. as you're seeing, like he's smashing me, he's totally whooping my ass in this game, and um, I invited you because we were all playing Switch, we were all playing Smash Bros together. We were going to do this competitive tournament, and I was like, hey, my brother plays Smash. I was like, so I'm going to ask him. And I did not realize that it was a game that you were, like, pretty goddamn good at. So it became kind of this annoying thing where I don't think anybody wanted to play with you. You, see, play you with thought me. you were just getting some rain for your friends, but you didn't realize it was going to be a hurricane. I mean, like, I thought you might be competitive, but I didn't think you were going to be, like, dominating everybody. It was it was at a point where nobody wanted to play with you, dog. Like, you're the most unfun person to play Smash with ever. Like, it's crazy. It's yeah, just, I know. I get that a lot. Way, of my it's not friends. just you beating everybody; it's the way you beat them. Like it kind of gets a little bit inferior. Like it gets a little bit personal. Like it's a little bit just like God, dude. Like you're just being a bully. Like this is mean. Well, yeah, you gotta. It's also. It's. I feel like it's more humiliating, oh God, humiliating for others. I don't even know how you did that. I feel that. like it's more humiliating for others because it's a heavy character, which are usually seen as really bad somehow. 
because they're slow and heavy and like you know they're, they're they don't have a good or what option i'm sure like top two people sure, know how like, to deal with it a little bit more but like for everybody else that's just kind of trying to play it and have fun like dude oh oh you could have saved yourself and so there was a period of time where like you were just dominating everybody we had one we had a few guys in our on our group that were pretty good like leo was pretty good you remember leo he played uh oh yeah i like play? that guy he was fun we actually had some after matches after the tournament was done on the first day we just like we kind of just stood, we kind of started playing he just wanted like a dub yeah because like he's a, he's a really good player like out of all your friends the i actually remember that like leo he doesn't really like work with this anymore he's a good dude though i, li- I liked leo a lot but he uh yeah he doesn't work i don't with know this personally anymore. but like if yeah. he, he looks like he's like he'll be cool in the life I don't I don't know what he's up to now. He's like kinda of doing his own thing, but um Yeah, he's still one of my friends on my Switch. I see him get on you, have you from time time for like something. Since then? No. No, I don't. I just see him on like my online oh my God, on my sir, Switch from time to time. Alright, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, one more random and that's it. So uh, there's no chance of uh, so definitely under for two. Did not happen. This is where Eric's gonna win because I don't know how to play anyone else as on a heavy. I have to pick a random person Yoshi. too. Or a little ma- well, I mean, you're not, you're moderately good with everyone else. You're like that on JT in that sense, which is my brother, JT. Yeah. I would play Smash. They don't play they, Smash. I, I played often, Smash but... as like a little kid, so I knew like played the GameCube one. I played a little bit of the N six four one two actually back in the day. I didn't own it, but I we def I definitely played it. Um, Jesus Christ, I got it on. Who am I going to get? Oh, oh God. my God, are you serious? I want are you much fucking serious, man? I'm not with <laughs> That is such bullshit, dude. What kind of crap is that? This is like one of the worst characters I've ever seen, dude. This oh my God, yeah, balls. I don't play this character. He's way too fast for me. This character <laughs> is balls, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. This I character. actually like Duck Hunt a little bit. Shut up. Shit, now, then again, I, I do kind of, tr- I do kind of play uh, Olimar too. Olimar is kind of fun. I just can't possibly get good with him at all. Like, not good enough to ever be effective with it. Oh my I'm God. gonna hit you. Oh wait! Okay. <laughs> he was using the missile. Fuck out of here. That fucking move is so dumb and lame. Like the fact that it can actually. If you're going to be slow, why does it also have to get uh, stopped with an actual attack? You know what oh. I mean? If you're yeah. going to be slow, at least be invincible to, like, like just you punching it. You could punch my projectile in the face. <laughs> Is that what you're telling Ooh, me? What the hell happened there? Like, it's so dumb. Oh, my, miss- my little bomb. I was trying to get you into that. And it doesn't even do that much damage. Like, it doesn't even do that much damage. You know what I mean? How did I die from that? Yeah. Oh, I got stuck in this cage! God damn it. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, folks. I am good with all heavies except yeah, this. Just, I uh, except you... literally everyone else that is in a little Mac or Yoshi or a little bit of Almar. Everyone else, you, though? You've got, like, oh, yeah, some, you've got some moves with, like, Luigi, too. too. I was I really hoping it wouldn't be, like, yeah. a Luigi. I was kind of secretly hoping you might throw a Luigi in there instead of throwing all Oh, yeah, I'm also... Thing. I'm also pretty decent at uh, Dr. Mario, I've realized. I think it's because I, I like, like working Mario's like a mafia like boss. Shoto of the game, so I think, like, his... I think, like, his moves are kind Where's of... Where's that not blown up? Look at that crap. It's not blown up yet. It's a fucking can, and I'm shooting a missile at it. Like, it's weird to think about, but Mario is kind of a Shoto. Like, he plays like a Shoto, like Ryu. He's got, like, a spinning move. He's got a projectile, like a fireball. And he's got like a dragon punch, like a DP as well. He actually kind of plays like a Shoto. Yeah. Like uh, Ryu would be the classic Shoto example of that one. This is the only one I'm actually going to be able to win against you. Is if I start doing that, which I don't want to do. I can't get out of it! What the? That's so ass. Oh my god, my little guy actually hits you. It's just hilarious. Hey, come here. Come here, real quick. Get my bum. Ah, you were. I, I didn't mean it then. Oh my god. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. 
All right. I got one win, baby. That's one win yeah. for EC out of ten. You know what? I'll take it. I'll fucking I'm never take playing it. Snake Jesus again. Christ. <laughs> the only way I would ever be able to win that is if I stood on an area and just spam projectiles, which I don't want to do. Oh, my God. I hate doing that. I want to get up and personal with people, but yeah. Uh, Everyone else... Let's do one more. Play. Let's do a few more randoms really quick. The game's over. Let's do a bit randoms. Let's all. Let's not really. Don't try to win too much. I just want to talk about the tournament a little bit, and then we'll get off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. So, okay, so we did day one. So we actually were in two different right. brackets. We had a couple of our friends. We all got together. I think you were kind of considered the favorite. I think Leo. Leo was sort of the. I'm trying to figure out who I was for a second there. Uh, Leo is kind of was like the you know our best hope, if you will, at dark matter. And the whole idea was that if you won, um, just kind of fuck around a little bit. I'm trying to talk, so I'm not focused that much. Um, but if you if you won, you got like a certain if you got it was in three places. So like first place got, I think like a bunch of this crazy huge package of coffee, all like coffee related dark matter subscriptions or whatever. Second place got like a or one got uh, got a coffee package for for a year. Second place got it for six months, and then, like, I think third place got, like, some sort of, like, uh, I don't know. They got, like, something that was just really basic, like, one package or whatever. And, um, you know, Leo was probably Dark Matter's best hope, obviously, of just it being somebody from the actual D uh, DMC. We did take people from outside the company. Not a few people, not too many people joined. Um, there was one Mega Man dude who's kind of cool. I liked his work a lot. He was really badass in that. Um, there oh was boy, a, he was annoying to fight. There was a Bowser. There was a Bowser as well. Um, we had a. Who else did we have? We had one more motherfucker. Well, we had Mega Man dude. We had Bowser dude. Um, and then we had that wolf guy. And then we I had Homeboy who lost. very infamously. Okay, so I was in the first bracket. Hold on, I'm not really talking. I'm kind of just fucking around a little bit. Stop trying to hit me. Just give me a second here. Alright. I'm telling a story. I'm telling a story. So we were kind of uh, like we can fuck around, but don't don't try to go for it too hard. Uh, so I was in week one. We were in two separate brackets. I had oh, I also had my um, one of my cousins' like boyfriends who joined in, and I, I feel so bad for the motherfucker because I, I think he just really played it off like we were just um, like we were just fucking around. Like he's like I love Smash, but I, I just think he liked playing it a little bit. You know what I mean? Like he was not in any way being competitive with it at all. So he was in my bracket. Jake was in my bracket, who I think played Sephiroth a little bit, if I want to say. He either played Sephiroth or he played the octopus person, this, the octo ink person. I think he was uh, a squid. I think he was, yeah, I think he was squid. Yeah, so he was the squid character. He was squid. I forgot what homeboy was. I can't remember. I think Mike was also in my bracket as well. Um, and I think he did Baby Bowser Jr. And I was Terry. And I smashed through all the competition that wasn't. Oh, oh, and I had that one random dude. This one random dude I didn't know about in the tournament. And I was kind of worried about... Um, I was actually kind of worried about um, my cousin's uh, boyfriend. I was like, man, what if he's really good? Um, I kind of felt like I was going to beat Mike and Jake. I'm not going to lie. Like, I just... We, I played them too many times. Yeah. And what there was a point where Jake was really good, actually. And he actually played really well in the first tournament. But he just stopped caring after a while and was like... I don't know. He just wasn't that serious about it, which I, I totally understand. I totally respect. Um, but he just wasn't super serious about it after a while. And I was just, you know, at some point, I was just whooping his ass all the time. Um, and then Mike, like, Mike actually is, wasn't too, too bad. But he just, again, he was another guy who just had a really hard time staying on the fucking stage. Like, he, he could fight you okay, but if you edge guard him at all... Like, he, he's one of those guys like me who would fall off just because. You know what I mean? Like, nobody did anything. You just literally made a mistake. Like, he was that kind of guy. Which, again, that's who I'm at, too. So, at the time, I wasn't, though. At the time, I was a little bit better about staying on track and everything. But, um, so I think I beat Jake pretty easily. I beat uh, my cousin's boyfriend really easily. I whooped his ass so bad. I felt so bad about it. But I was like, dude, I'm sorry. I, like, you might be the only guy I'm going to be able to fucking beat in this tournament. So, I got to just fucking... I gotta savor this moment. I was kind of cruel to him. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I wish we could watch the video again of all that happening. And then it, and the finals, I wish I could too. I wanted to watch that, but I can't find it on the Twitch now. What's in up the with finals? That? I don't know. It's because the people were in charge. One of them is Jake, and the other one is another person who shall not be named because he's a fucking wiener. Um, just like drop. I don't know. I think they eventually just stopped the channel 100, percent and it just didn't go down. So. 
Um, but anyway, so I beat everybody else fine. And then in the finals, it's that random dude who was playing Ganondorf at the time. He just was running through people with Ganondorf. And it was me. Well, he, he, I thought he was playing Captain Falcon. Is there no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, so he was playing Gan- he was playing Ganondorf first, and he whooped my ass good. But I think we were doing, like, best out of two or some shit. Um, what? Right? Wasn't it best out of two, or am I fucking crazy about that? Or no, it wasn't best out of two. Oh, you know, no, 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 you know what happened? It wasn't best out of two, it was, um, like, you had a second chance. So I think, like, yeah, it was the losers once. bracket. Yeah, it was a loser's bracket. So I went into the loser's bracket and then got beat again. Type shit. I don't know how that worked out. Yeah. I can't remember. But I know I had a second swipe at him. And so we go into the match. We're about to play. And the dude has Captain Falcon instead of Ganondorf. Oh, God. And I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, wait, wait, wait. I, I, like, stopped and was like, hey, man, like, what's up? What's going on here? And then that's when, that's the moment that Jake, I think it was Jake who told me. He looked at me and he goes, or he messaged me and he's like, we didn't make that a rule. You know what I mean? Like we didn't... Which is quite annoying. Yeah. Because, like, why? We didn't make that a thing you can actually do. Or, like, that wasn't an official rule that we laid out in the game. So he could pick whatever character he wanted. And he decided to pick Captain Falcon after that. And he whooped my ass again. But I still placed in the tournament. Um, I think it was top two, if I'm not mistaken. Was it top two or top three? Maybe it was top three. Oh, wait, I'm from. All right, never mind. Yeah, I know. I thought I was on the left side at first. Or I thought, yeah, I thought I was on the left side. That's why I almost fell off a fucking building there. <laughs> um, and I was, like, walking up, too. Like, oh, um, he's so floaty. I always want to play these games, the Mother series. I, I have a, I have this Super Nintendo thing that I played uh, Smash wait. or played Super Metroid on. I think I'm gonna, I want to try to play. I want to play, play at least Earthbound with uh, Ness. You turn your TV down. Turn your thing down, because I'm hearing it. Um, and so, I, I I knew he was trouble because I played you two a lot, and I played Leo two a lot, and you guys were definitely way better than me. But like, I just felt something with this dude that it wasn't just like it wasn't like just that I was having a bad night because I was doing okay with everybody else. I was whipping everybody else's ass, so I was. Oh yeah, I was, you're I was good. sharp. But, like, I could just see, like, oh, this dude's a problem. And I remember I distinctly told you about him after that. You went to the bracket, and you ended up... Did you and Leo just, like, what ended up happening with you and Leo with that one? Because it was... Oh, after we, like, after I won the first bracket? After that, me and Leo kind of just had a couple matches. We just it out. But you guys were in the same bracket, right? Am I crazy about that? Or you were? Yeah, we were in the same... He actually beat me the first time we fought in that. That's right. Or not. Did he get first place yeah. in, the, in that one? Or did you? Did he win that bracket? No, no, no. no. I one? I won afterwards. I won afterwards. I think that's why we you had won best out of three. He just wanted that. I think so. Okay. I just thought I was in the losers bracket as well, but then I just okay, I, I don't want some ass. But I kind of dominated everyone else. The only yeah. other people that gave me trouble on the first bracket, like in the first day was that Mega Man, but that's because he was spamming projectiles. Well, you know what was so like funny, a, too? Yeah. Even though I had even though I had that one player in my bracket, your bracket was way more crazy. It was just so badly managed, that bracket system, that you guys ended up having this insane bracket. Where there, was like, there was like 12 yeah, people so in your bracket. Yeah, so my first match, actually. There was, like te- you know there was like 12 people in your bracket, and there was like 7 people in mine. Like, it was some like crazy, stupid thing, where it was like everybody in mine, with the exception of that one dude, was like it was nothing. Like you had the Bowser person, you had the Mega Man person. I don't even know how everybody ended up getting into the the tournament, but everybody did in the end. It was kind of funny. Um, yeah, uh, the person I was supposed to go against first in that tournament, Meathead, your friend that plays uh, Morton, he left on that actually. So I'm like, oh, what's gonna happen now? Am I gonna oh, play? Did or... he like Meat uh, no, like, yeah, just... Sack or Meatjack? I think, he, I think he's, sack. I think he's called sack. sack, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Mike. That's yeah, what I was like, talking what about. So Mike was in your bracket. Ah. Kai was also in your bracket, and unfortunately Kai did not make it to the finals. Um, unfortunate. He he got beat by the uh, the Bowser person, I think. Yeah, the Bowser one. I was like, yes! I don't know everyone, by the way, so I just like going for people. I was like, yes, that person won. I just went based on character. 
I never knew Kyler to go because me and Kyler were kind of like uh, me and Kyler were like boys, so it was like we were both kind of like he was like my Ken. He was my Re, he was my Ken to my Ryu. You know what I mean? Like we had a bit of a rivalry uh, for a little bit where we would have I some pretty crazy matches. Uh, I was wishing he would get in, but unfortunately he wasn't. He didn't didn't beat that guy. I ended up getting revenge on that son of a bitch. Um, we ended up playing. So we're all brackets together. The first person I play is the Bowser person uh, in the finals bracket. Um, yeah. And I'm not going to lie. It's kind of bullshit, but kind of not. I don't really care. I kind of found out who my opponent was a little bit earlier than him. And I definitely used that to my advantage. I'm not going to bullshit you. I definitely was doing some level 9 Bowsers and just was like, had Bowser down to a science. And so, <laughs> and so that first game, I played a lot of the other people too. I was playing Ganondorf because I thought that dude might come back with Ganondorf again on me. I was playing, um... Oh, I'm Pichu. God. I was doing Mega oh, Man no. a tiny bit, not a lot. But I was doing a little bit of Mega Man, not a lot of Mega Man. And then I was doing Bowser. Um, and so that match was, like, easily my best match in the whole thing. Like, that was my best moment, was playing that Bowser How do you character. use that damn thing? What? I... Mm. I whooped Bowser's ass. Mm. Like... And you know that you know that move I do where I do the low the two low strikes like the where I do the little and then I go upwards with that little uh, rising tackle, which like shoots up in the air. What character are you talking about? I'm talking about Terry. <laughs> I'm talking about Terry, you dumbass. <laughs> oh yeah, his combo. Yeah, his little combo. I like I know. Just, like... There's a point in the match where I got that combo, and I was like, the, the, in that moment, I knew I was gonna win. Because I was just like, oh, I got. <laughs> I got this dude. You know what I mean? I, I just I got him. And so I win that match. Who do you who did you play first in the finals tournament and the finals bracket? I only played King K. Roll. No 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 not as a character, but who who did you face against in the finals bracket? Leo. Wait. The first your, wait, your first match. One? The first day or oh the first match. No 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 no. I the, think it was the me <laughs> It was the Mega the Man guy? I don't Okay, so do you mean like the first like champ like, the first, like <laughs> the last finals, battle? In the of finals the first bracket, bracket. The finals bracket. The one where you and I were in together. Oh that's right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This guy the story's falling apart right now, but I'm gonna get us back on track. I know, I just like it, the beginning? No. No, the no, no, bracket, no. Okay, the so the first thing? bracket no, you were in the, the first the first bracket you were in, you actually went into the losers bracket immediately. That's what happened. And that was the yeah. big shocker of the thing because Leo beat you. You played Leo again. You had the worst matchup ever. Oh, I had yeah. to play. I had to play my cousin's brother, who was, I'm sorry, he wasn't any good, and I totally smashed him. And that's why I went. I actually stayed in the winners bracket the whole time until the finals. And then that one dude. I don't know how that dude lost. That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, maybe maybe we fought in the semifinals and then he beat me and then I beat him in the finals. That's probably what happened. I probably played him again in the finals. That's what happened. So I did get sent into the losers, losers bracket. But you started out yeah. in the losers bracket, and that was like a big oh shit moment. Because I was like, you know, yeah, dude, I was I already an underdog. I assumed you were gonna walk in and just smash people. So when you lost that first time, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Like my brother is like, like what's from, going on here? My brother went from being to the the finals, like oh a sure thing to the finals to like, is he gonna lo is he gonna lose the second game? You know what I mean? Like, it was possible. It could have happened. could have very easily happened, right? Depending on who you were playing against. Like, you played that Mega Man dude, and he started getting in your head. Like... It's not even got in my head. He just spammed. Like, no, I no, hate no, no, that. No, 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 no. I'm not even that talking about... I'm, all I'm saying is game. that in that moment, I was definitely a little scared for you. Like, competitively. You know what I mean? Not that I didn't think you were going to win or didn't think you were any good. But in that moment, I was like, whoa, shit. My brother lost his first game. I didn't lose my first game. Again, I played a schlub, but you know what I mean. Like that was the like the point was that I just wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, so then you climb your whole way through the losers bracket. You beat everybody else pretty much, and then you play Leo again in the finals, who had again went all the way, didn't hadn't lost at all in the tournament so far. Just had an amazing performance, right? So far, and then you guys just had these two insane matches. It was like two of the closest, most crazy matches ever. And I was doing analytical work for it because I knew a lot of the guys 
in the Dark Matter crew. Oh yeah, you're talking in a Twitch. You're yeah. Like, He's but got I, a mean the, spiking hand. Like, what, oh, one of the things me. I said was that you're one of the, like, with your King K rule, you're so deadly along the edge. Like, when you're flying in and you try to, if you try to edge guard against you, it's really hard. And in fact, a lot of times it's a trap. Because you would do that shit where you'd suck somebody into the vacuum and then you would shoot them underneath the ramp, right? You'd like... It's, you'd like be, be, it's just like documenting a crocodile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like croak out of water, mate. You, I almost want to... Can, we, jaw, we, uh, can we reenact that move really quick after this? Since we're kind of just doing whatever? Here, I'm going to die really yeah. quick. I want to do that move. I just want to show it on video because it's so fucking Not weird. Die first. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No. I just want to do a reason. I just want to... You do, no, you, you do King K. Roll while I'll just play Terry or whatever. Um, you say, like, the dude is suck move, but like, there's so many things you can do with that, like, I know, but you have, you have some cool traps, and a lot of times people feel this necessary thing to be like, I want to be on the edge with this guy and, and finish him, right? Especially when you're King K. Roll. And you would find ways to punish people with that, and that was one of those punishes you did. I mentioned it before. I kind of, like, described how, like, dangerous that was. And then it fucking happened. And that's how you, that was one of the ways you beat Leo, is you fucking did that vacuum shit. You sucked him off the stage. You're, we'll show it right now. And you fucking shot him into the infinite, and it was done. I was, that was just one way you got ahead. And that oh, do one, you mean like the sucking cuck? Are you talking about that? That wonderful thing that everyone hates? Here, I'm going <laughs> to just knock you off. Here. Just go off the know. stage and do here. it. Or, here. Well, you got to get closer. We, I we, am. We may need to do some damage real quick. Hold on. Fuck! You can't hit me like that. I gotta like I gotta jump on my own. No okay. no 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 no. Get over here. Get over here. Okay. So it's like this. So I'm edge guarding. Okay, you're falling. You would do that. That move. Yeah. And you would fly back to the oh, stage. I died again. You were used to be good enough to where you'd be able to fly back on the stage, and that would never be a problem. You did that at least once to him in one of those games where it was like that was it. That was over because you guys were so evenly matched that if you got a win like that out of nowhere. Like, if you, it was one life, you know what I mean? Like, there was no way he was coming back. It was just so crazy, dude. Yeah. Those were the best games, easily. Those were, like, some of the best matchups. Like, did you ever save any of those videos? Did you save any of them? The video? With Leo? Or save any of the... Any of the videos? No, I didn't. Save... No, I didn't God, even I think about that. Well, the thing is, I was already shitting myself, because, yeah, you're right, I lost the first match, and when I, that happened, and I dad figured... Was, uh, and your dad was watching, right? Here. Your JT was watching yeah, and yeah. you lose the <laughs> first match, your father. That was so like you were like, ugh. You know, yeah, well, you know how fucked up that is? Like you're you're already expecting a lot from your son because we played often before. You, I already won a lot with and him. We, he could have played by the way, way JT could have played your father, he could have played and he probably would have placed. Like he would have been the third or fourth best person there easily. Um, oh, most definitely. Yeah. I guarantee nasty. he could have gave Leo a run for his money, to be honest. Because uh, he was pretty good. Yeah. Especially at the time, he was definitely playing some top-tier characters as well. Um, yeah, I would say to everyone here, our dad was kind of a kind of a legend back then. In many games. Smash not as much, but, he's a you really, know, he's just got really he's still good, real he's good. Just, he's got really good natural instincts for gaming. And, yeah, more of a World of Warcraft legend, though, I'm going to be honest, but... Smash was definitely up there with those. I'm just legends. saying, your father, you guys have it too in your genetics as well. It's got to be genetic. There's got to be something about you guys. Your father <laughs> yeah, had, that's... is just naturally good at games. <laughs> no, 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 you know what I'm that's saying? Your genetic, father is but... naturally good at games. Like, he just is. Like, it he just is. He could pick so up a funny. game. He could pick up a game and be better at it than you would if you just played and you really spent time playing it. Like, if I played a game for an hour, he could pick up a game and probably in 25 minutes be better than me. You know what I mean? Like, at whatever it is. I know. A, whether yeah, it's a I fighting game or whether it's, it's anything. The way like, you phrased it. He's just got it's a just natural talent it, for that so stuff. Funny. He's got a natural, like, just timing. He knows how to do timing. And I just think he has a way of disconnecting from the controller a little bit where it's very natural to him. I don't know. And you guys have that, too. Like, you guys have an ability to pick Sorry, up games really fast. Like, he played a little bit of DBZ fighters, and you weren't even playing that much. But, like, you were beating me on that, too, pretty consistently, like, to start out with. Like, I was going to have to train really hard to beat you. You know what I mean? I was getting some wins, but not a lot. And, again, you just... I don't know. I also characters. was beating, getting my ass handed to me by my friend Brian. No, no. I, He's I a phenomenal at the game. But I was... Yeah. I know, but I think if you really spent time, time with that game, 
you just don't really care about it that much. It's just not, it doesn't get your, you're very like, if you get super into something, you get super into it. But you don't play a lot of different yeah. games. Games that I might even expect you would play and you just don't play. Like you don't play any what other game fighting games that much. Oh, that. Other than it's some TV controls that I can't handle bad control or strange control for myself. So Street Fighter, I would like to play that game, but there's so many other like combos you got to do for a specific thing, which is why I don't play Ken or Ryu in Smash. Because like to do that red fireball that I want to do more often, it's just, like a whole ass like combo. Like I just want to shoot a ball of fire. Why you got to make me do this thing? You gotta do that. Uh, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta get, we gotta, we gotta get back to the tournament. Okay, so I went, I beat the Bowser guy. You beat who did you? Okay, so you, you got all the way to the championship. You beat Leo. You won the tournament the first time, the first tournament, the first round of tournaments, the qualifier round. Let's call it the qualifier tournament. Um, yeah. And then we both went into the winners tournament. Who did you play first in the winners tournament? I have no idea. Oh my god! That second? Worst. Are you fucking kidding that me? That second. That second bracket was so unremarkable to me that the only thing I could remember is that humiliating defeat that I got afterwards from that guy. That guy. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so you don't remember who you beat there, and then I played no. Mega Man. I played the Mega Man dude next, and I actually played him pretty well to begin with. Like I think I hit him. I knocked him out. I don't first. think I run against anyone there. If I'm to be honest. I think it was just one of those things where, like, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for you to do some stuff over here. I think that's what kind of happened. But then again, maybe I'm being dumb because that 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 loss was so humiliating to me that okay, I okay, couldn't well, stop. Well, well, well. Let me about build it. up to it. Let me build up to the story. So I, beat, I was just doing what you. I play the Mega Man guy. I wind up losing that game. It was a good game. I think I was, I played pretty competitively with that person, but I wound up losing. So I go to the losers bracket. You keep winning. You beat. I think you played. Um, you played Leo again, and you beat Leo again. I think. Ironically, do you remember Leo actually beat the dude, the Ganondorf guy? Remember he got a win. No, he lost. Him? No, Leo Did beat him. Did he get him. a win? I saw him lose. Leo beat the him. Match I saw. Leo beat him. I remember Leo I beating him. I didn't know him. that. Yeah, I remember that. Leo did get a win. I remember him playing Captain Falcon, and he kind of got owned in that match. And they may have played a as second time. As much as I hated seeing that. They may have played a second time, but I think he won at least one game with him. I'm cra Maybe I'm crazy about that, but I, I think that happened. Um, so you and me are in the... You and me end up playing after that. I don't know why we ended up playing. I forget what the circumstance was, but essentially you and I played together the second time around. And um, you whooped my ass. Like, the same thing as you've been seeing in the video. Like, I played Terry, you played King K. Roll, and you just whooped my ass, essentially. Um... Um, and so I lost. That's it. That's the last game I played. I lost to the Mega Man dude, and I lost to you, and that was it. Double elimination. I'm out of the tournament. And then I don't remember who you played before. I felt like you were. You finally got to the finals. Leo is gone. I think you may have finished off Leo. I think that's may have been what happened. I think maybe the guy beat him, and then you beat him afterwards. Uh, the Mega Man dude eventually at some point got eliminated as well. Um, you know. It, it all just came down to you and Homeboy who kept changing his characters. And I think, I don't know what he was mainly playing in the tournament. I know he switched to Fox when he played you, but who was no, he playing? He, no, 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 no. I remember this vividly. He okay. changed to Wolf. What in the world? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. not I've Fox, but the Wolf seen. character. The Fox. Not like, I'm, when I say words, I don't mean like he's a bad to play. I just mean he sucks to fight because he's so random. Either like a heavy ass move, like Bowser's forward smash. Is he going to do dick auto him when he's at like 70 or like 80%? Or is he going to get launched by like a dinky move from like, I don't know, Yoshi? And it's just, he has super strong attacks. It's just it's aims to fighting Wolf. That's like my, my the most hated character for me in Smash. Is that and so you think he just I've knew that? Like because people. he wasn't playing Wolf that much before, right? Did he play Wolf before? Do you remember if he, he did? Played Wolf with, he played Wolf with... Before he played you. Nope, Captain Falcon is all I saw with him. Everyone else, though, when he wasn't fighting, was with Wolf. 
and which was only me because I was playing King K. Roll and Wolf is a good counter for him. And you just think he knew that, and that's how he was able to do that. God, I can't believe I lost that. Well, he's watching other people play, and he's like, oh, well, this character's better. That's the thing that I hate is that he was like, yeah, he changed his character, which is he annoying. He changed his character at least like, three or yeah, four he's... times, and no, well, nobody else did. Everybody else stayed with the character they were playing with. But he was the only yeah. one who kept switching things out. I think he was still really good regardless. But I do think the character switching was a pain in the ass. I think people would have... I think he should have... Because well, you know, like, thing sometimes... Is, I didn't even know if that was a rule or not. So I was already nervous as it was. Like, what if I change... What if he gets in trouble? And if I do that, I'm going to get in trouble. And after that loss, I went, uh, I went to talk to Dad about it afterwards. Like... You should have changed that and played Bowser. That would have been a better match. Like it would have, but you know what? I didn't know the rules, so I got nervous. So you're blaming me? I was already nervous about the whole tournament as it was. That I asked my mom if there's any chocolate in the house to calm me down. But your mom can atone to that if she remembers. You won second and place. Yeah. You won second place. It was still a good. It was still a good tournament. It was still an amazing performance by you. And yeah, dude, I like just... the only guy who beat you was a guy who kept switching back over and over and over again. And I warned you about him, too. I told you. I said, that dude, dude, I'm telling you. Like, dude's not playing games. I know, but I didn't expect him to change characters. Like, you know, that guy who has to do that. Like, everyone else is not changing. Why can't you stay true to your nature here, bud? Because he just like, he wanted to, He got fucking free coffee, bro. And he got to say he won the DMC tournament. But you got second place. You got six months worth of coffee. I got second place. Yeah. I think Leo may have gotten third. There's a good tournament. I think so, too. I was happy with it. With, oh, yeah. That whole coffee thing, I gotta let you know about that, too. Is that You asked me if I ever got it, like, a week ago. I was like, no, I still haven't got it. And you were, like, talking to everyone else. But then we realized that I just was getting coffee very slowly. Like, I, had, I waited, like, a couple months to get the first bag. And then the second bag was, like, another couple months. And, like, the last bag, I think was like almost like half a year like <laughs> afterwards was like all right so maybe they screwed up on the coffee packages i'm sorry you don't even care about coffee anyway i don't now, just, now you're just disparaging like, my company is that what you're doing right now oh it's definitely my friend well i didn't really know what i was gonna get as a gift so i was like i wonder what i'm gonna get i'm kind of i don't really know and then it took a long nothing time nothing you wanted <laughs> nothing you wanted did it get lost yeah, you well, just kind of. You were really just doing it for bragging rights and because you said you could. I'm sorry, it couldn't happen. I just wanted to. I was rooting for I you. Wanted I wanted to you to smash. win, obviously. I wanted you to win. But it is what it is. All right, after this game, I think we're going to call it. I'm going to turn the video off. You've been a good uh, host. We should do this again sometime. I don't know with another game. Can't be Smash again, please. Uh, maybe we'll uh, do we some GBZ fighters. fighters again or something. We'll, we'll do a little bit of that. That'd be fun. Mm. Yeah, right. What games are you playing right now? Uh, just Mark Start to Rise. Uh, that's kind of it, to be honest. I've just been looking at other games. I recently started playing World of Warcraft again. Oh, yeah? Yeah, people have been kind of yeah. getting back into that. I feel like everyone's kind of gotten back, back into that one again. I just can't jump back into yeah. that, dude. I just can't do it. I just would get... I'm going to get just, bored uh, of it in like a month, and it's one of those games that you kind of need to spend more than a month figuring out. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you leveling can't, up is like, just as hard as if you only work, have if you only have the attention easier. span for one month for that game, it's not a game for you. It's just not a game for you. That's such bullshit, by the way. I don't know. Doctor Mario has like a couple strong moves there. Isn't that thing like fucking shielded or no? Huh? Never mind. Well, like, what'd you say? You kind of just... You need to remember, phone audio is kind of crap. I know. I'm sure, like, half the shit we've recorded probably didn't even... Can't even hear it, but we'll see. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm trying to play a little more Rumblefish for a tiny bit longer. I like the fight. It's a good fighting game, but it, I'm going to show you the video. You should watch my channel on the videos. Um... But unfortunately, like, the online play is just non-existent. So I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. Nice, uh, nice bot dodge right there. I should have killed you, but okay. Whatever. I don't know, man. Dr. Mario's kind of sad. Oh, my God. 
Oh, come Woo! on, man. I was not trying uh, to do that, but whatever. Do... It worked in my favor. That's such bullshit. I just tried to do it a punch as it was, but all right. Uh, yeah, that, sometimes you gotta get a sweet spot with Dr. Mario's, like, up here. It's like Captain Falcon's, like, knee. You just gotta get in that right area, and it's like, ooh! That's a pretty good fit all day. Well, it was good playing with you. Thank you for doing this video with me, and uh, maybe we'll do it. Like I said, we'll do another one sometime. Maybe we'll do some DBZ fighters or whatever. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, or good. we can do some Giga Bash when we I'll finally you, get I'll it. Let, I know, but I can't, you can't. I can't play Giga, unless it's cross console. Is it cross play? It is. It is cross play. Yeah. They just that's what got added with the Godzilla DLC, which I was like, ooh, I can play with it. So I can now. play it on my computer. And play with you on your uh, console. Well, I don't know what it's. I don't know what it's on. I just know it's on the PS4 so far. No, it's on, it's it on did, Steam like, the on the computer. PlayStation stuff. I can't get it through well, Steam. If, it's on the computer, if I yeah. use, if I get it through, oh my god, we're having this conversation when the video is still recording. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll do Giga Bash. Maybe we'll do DBZ Fighters. I'll I will think about it. Uh, we'll figure out what we want to well, do. Well, we got to do Dragon Ball Fighters first because we don't have that game either way. We only have Dragon Ball Fighters. When are you gonna get Giga Bash? Aren't you gonna get it? No, I don't know. I kind of have to see what happens in, during this Christmas. I don't know, yeah, baby. I, gotta, I don't know, baby. I wish there was a day where you got gifts for things that you asked for. <laughs> That's coming up in like two weeks, in a week. Like, yeah, uh, yeah I wish for, that day could come soon. Ask, ask for Christmas. Just so you like, it's like $40. It's like an, it's a cheap game to ask for Christmas, honestly. You're going to play the hell out of it. If you get it and it's cross-console, like if I can play on Steam on the computer... I'll play with you. Do you not have any other console to use it on? I have a Switch, you have a... dog. That's what you're, you're looking at it. Um, I can't. I'm looking at my phone. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> well, we'll figure out what we want to do at some point, but with that in mind, uh, let's scrub sessions out. Love you, bro. Alright. Say something to the audience. Uh...